You set out your expectations for the team pre-match. Did they live up to them? In terms of effort and the fight, that was there. Uh, but I thought across us today, just too many moments where um, we lacked quality. And, and it was those turnovers in possession where we gave the ball away cheaply um, that gave Leeds their best chances, you know, on the counter. So that was the most frustrating thing today. Um, and then obviously when we were pushing the set play quality, we were getting back in the game. I feel like we're gaining territory and, and winning set plays in great positions. And then that quality weren't there either with the set plays and Leeds accounted from that. So in terms of that, we were his own worst enemy today. You were never out of the game and that must have been pleasing for you. Yeah, I thought the first couple of minutes we started slowly and Leeds dropped on too many second balls and were able to get up the pitch. But as the first half wore on, we kept winning the ball higher. Um, we kept winning the ball from their goal kicks or their throw-ins in, in good areas of the pitch. Um, but again, we didn't open them up for the positions that we were getting into and too many shots from distance or um, too many lost balls in the final third. So the first real moment of quality from us, from a regain in their half, got us our goal. Um, and it was a reward really for sticking, it, sticking at it and getting better and better as the half went on. Second half was similar, but we got opened up again when we didn't quite fully commit to a press and there was spacing behind and, and there's not too much Jags can do at first glance. Um, but we stuck at the game, as you said. And as I thought we were building pressure momentum, we couldn't quite get his foot on the throat and, and put them under pressure because we'd release it by us giving the ball away and allowing them to counter. The winning goal ended up being that own goal from Phil Jagielka, but the delivery from Harrison, that's a nightmare for defenders to deal uh, with. Going, going at pace towards your own goal, you've, you've got to try and get something on it. Um, you're probably leaving a tap into a strike if you don't commit and try and get something on the ball. Unluckily for us, it didn't go this side of the post, it went the wrong side of the post. So, yeah, it's, you've got to commit to that as a defender, you've got to go for the ball. Finally, George Bulldog, there was a concussion process in place. Now, we saw that try to be um, happen twice mm. throughout the match. Do you think there's more that can be done with the concussion protocol as it stands? Probably, but, but as it stands, it's there and, and everyone follows it. That You know, all clubs understand it and follow it. And we just happened to get two in sort of the same position today, which was a, which was a bit of a nightmare for us and, and meant some rejigging, but we can't take chances. So obviously as soon as George is assessed, he carries on, but reporting any sort of symptoms, we have to take him off. And then it was the same with Jaden, um, not long into the second half. So yeah, as a club, as we accept you can't take any chances and we, we're always led by the medics on that now and, and that's probably right. So um, maybe there's things that can be done further. But there's certainly been big improvements, and as I say, I think we have to be, uh, we have to accept that we're going to be led by the medics and things like that. Are they both okay? Uh, we'll see, but obviously, we've been concussed. There's now further protocols to follow, isn't there? So we have to abide by that. They're getting assessed by the doctors now, so we'll know more towards the end of the, the, end of the evening. Thanks for your time, Paul. Cheers, thank you.